Today, I'm going to talk to you about a wonderful text-to-speech of software as a service, which is a voiceover maker. First, I have to tell you that I have used some others, but from my experience, this one is the best one. I found a new software as a service. The one I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The one I'm satisfied with. Which is VoiceOver Maker. I have to mention that VoiceOver Maker has many male American voices for a Spanish voice. And all of them sound very natural. Which is one of the features I liked. But the most important one for me is that you don't have to purchase the software to use it. And they don't cheat you in their promotion. They clearly state that they sell some packages of a number of characters. The cheapest one costs you 7 euros and you obtain 40,000 characters. Additionally, VoiceOver Maker allows you to try it before you purchase your first package. When you subscribe, you'll receive 1200 characters that are enough to test some voices and choose the right one for your project. VoiceOver Maker people are generous and they also gift you 5000 characters when you share a post and your Facebook or your Twitter accounts. Once I share the post on my social media accounts and they gave me 5,000 characters. They are even more generous. And you can receive 100,000 characters if you share a video of 5 minutes or more in your YouTube. Another thing I have to applaud is that VoiceOver Maker has a good team of customer service. I mean, it's real people and not bots that reply to you. They follow up on your concerns, clarify your doubts, and give you solutions. The way you use VoiceOver Maker is simple and easy. First, you create a project. Then, you can choose to create a voice, start or continue a podcast. Create a voiceover for a video. Or record from your screen. Mainly, I've used the option to create a voice. The process to create a voice is very easy. You click on the button to create a voice. And that will open a pop-up window in the online software. In the new window, you can choose the language and the voice from a drop-down menu. You click the voice, and you have it. After that, you can adjust the pitch and speaking rate. Next, you can enter the text to create a voice, in the big text editor that it's shown in the voice edit window. When you finish entering the text, you could desire to add breaks that replace the punctuation marks, to sound more natural. Additionally, you can add strong, moderated, or reduced emphasis to certain parts of your text. To do that, you only have to select the text you want the emphasis on. You can also spell out numbers and letters. And to do it, you click on, say as, and you can choose from the drop-down menu list, the form you'd like to spell the words or numbers. My final advice, to save you some characters, is that in the project you create voices for every paragraph or every sentence, trying not to use more than 250 characters per voice. You can create as many voices as you want. Please, don't misunderstand me. You could create one voice having 5,727 characters. But what happens when you detect you have to change a small part of that text? You'll have saved the voice again. And doing it will consume that amount of your characters. Every time you click on. Save voice. Or play. Or download WAV. Or download MP3. The counter will reduce the number of characters you had in your text. I hope this advice will also save you many characters. Other than that, VoiceOver Maker 
is the best in its category. To finish, I have to reconfirm that after using some related software, I'm more satisfied and happy with VoiceOver Maker.